Arcade Town. With two hours to go before the big high school dance, the town is bustling with activity. Dateless, you decide to spend the night at home. As you settle in, the doorbell rings. There's a note with something. A secret admirer has invited you to the dance. There are only two hours to go, so you better get ready fast. This is my sweet 16. What the fuck does this have to do with someone's 16th birthday? I don't know. Backstory, why not? <laughs> it's uh, it's in the wiki, okay? This is Lil's Gordo. I'm playing my sweet 16. I, I don't know, I've never heard of this game, so I just kind of picked it up. Just played uh, that Flash game. Uh, what's that one called with the, the taser? Nah, never mind. Fuck it. This music scores. It's it's really it's a really bad loop. Um, it's very nostalgic. No, no, not, not nostalgic, but like. Uh, it's it's okay. It's okay. It's very synthy. It's like supposed to be like marimba and harp or something or guitar. Anyway, I do not want to put this game on my site because it might have a it might have a disease. Okay. Now you got two you got two characters. This is um. Anyway, let's play. Oh god, pixel art. Oh god, that's just so shitty. Um, this is my skin color. So. Okay, alright. Uh, I have to look good for this dance. Okay, so let me just change my hair completely. Again, this is for a dance. Huh, should I go with the lime green? Huh, no. I kind of like the mohawk. But I'm also a fan of pigtails. <gasps> but America! America! Okay, okay, so we get makeup going on to get these. Ew! God, that's like not even outlined. Oh, it's just shitty pixel art. I hate it. I kind of like this turquoise turquoise lipstick, you know? Brings out the blue in America. So is Guam coming a state? Like, I don't know about that. Is, is, what's what's this? Ew! Eyeshadow? I can't even tell with that one. Shit. Ew, I like this one that's just this one pink, okay? Kind of like that. It makes me seem like a rebel. Oh, that one's like a rainbow, kind of. I can't even see that. that. That part right there is like one pixel, so... This is, uh, yeah. Oh, I could, I could put in some contact lenses. If you could even tell. I'm just one of those purple-eyed black people, you know, you see on the street every day. Their American bandanas and their blue lipstick. Ooh, I could wear something for, you know, clothing. Most people can do that. Hey, I could wear a sheepskin, alpaca-skinned, lamb-skinned poncho. I don't like that. Eh, uh, these are kind of tacky, you know? That's really tacky. Uh, oh, I don't want that. That's gross. I like this number five for a team assist, the green and pink, um, some Northwestern North Dakota, South Dakota Technical Institute of University Community College. Yeah. They're called the Dick Fingers. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with, ew, ew, uh, ew, who likes vests? Vests are for monkeys. <laughs> like to see a monkey wearing a vest. That'd be cute. Anyway, I'll go with this sheepskin alpaca thing. It works with my American headband. Ah, sorry, bandana. Hey, now I get to get some pants. What kind of pants go with a sheepskin alpaca skin, lamb skin, rhinestone alpaca poncho? Man, I just look so fucking vegan right now. Still kind of look vegan. Still kind of feeling the vegan. Still vegan. Too vegan. That's too vegan. It's not vegan enough. Man. Ugh, I'm getting a call from a restricted number, so just let me just pause this shit. Alright, sup, buckheads? I'm back. And guess who called me? Well... I just want to take my time and explain who it was. Um, apparently, um, you know, I'm going to college next year, I hope. And I got a call from this site called College... I think it was Finder? College Finder? Um, some girl named Tanya. Nice name. Uh, using a very, 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 very poor quality mic, probably like mine. Uh, just, just kind of asked 
uh, do we got, do we got this person here? Do we got Gordo? And I was kind of like, uh, yeah, you got Gordo here. I, I was kind of interested because, you know, I am still interested in college. So I was figuring this thing was kind of legit, even though it was a restricted number. And I'm always told to ooh, stay away from restricted numbers. They could be unlegit. So I kind of, I kind of accepted that. And so she was just wondering if I had my information down. And so she, uh, she kind of asked me some usual things, and I just kind of questioned why she needed that information. I was actually kind of messing with her because it seemed kind of unlegit, and I had that, I had that in my heart, just sinking feeling. And she said she was, uh, she couldn't reply, she couldn't say why. And so at that point, I knew it was totally unlegit. So I just asked this, uh, talked to her manager, and un. Fortunately, she had me hold for 15 minutes and then hung up on me. So hopefully I'll get a call back in the next few minutes minutes where I'm going to speak to her or her manager or probably another Tanya, of course. And I'm feeling this. All right. I'm feel all right. Ooh. Let, me, let me get this. No, let me get this. This. Yes. Okay. There we go. So if uh, I do get a call back from Tanya's manager, I'm going to talk to them in Italian. No, I don't actually speak Italian. I could hardly speak a word of English. But I want to mix things up, you know? So I'm feeling like these rollerblades, these flip-flops. Rollerblades are flip-flops, all right? We're going to the prom here, so we got to be classy. Go on rollerblades, you know, skate around, have fun. We got our accessories. Uh, it's always nice to bring some soda. Or, yeah, chocolate bar. Chocolate bar. That's good. Look at this bow. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm keeping that. No, oh, fuck you. I want that. All right, so I'm going to prom. Uh, what's what's this? My purse? Um, I'll try my purse. Ew. Ew. <laughs> Why can't you wear sunglasses and carry a purse? God damn it. <gasps> Life isn't fair. You just take and take and take. Let's go. Let's go to the prom. Congratulations on becoming queen of the high school dance. Your secret admirer has been voted king. Let's find out who he was. It was exactly who you wanted to be. The shy guy from Ecology 101. Oh my god. That guy with his dreadlocks and my dreadlocks. and Kind of looks like me. That guy does. That guy a little bit too. By the way. Look at that reused animation. Man, I just love shy guys from Ecology 101. Who the fuck takes Ecology 101? Why is it even called Ecology 101? This is fucking high school. You call it like Ecology because, you know, your school is too poor to afford Ecology 2 or Ecology 3 or AP Ecology. You know what? That's that's what this game is. It's public school. And by the way, this was a dress-up game. I didn't want to fucking play a dress-up game. I wanted to play a game that had something to do with my sweet 16. This has nothing to do with a 16th anything. Hell, this is a school dance. It might as well be called school dance dress-up. Why wasn't it called that? It's called my sweet 16. Have something to do with a 16th birthday party or something. It is so misleading. I was expecting to ride out of my mansion on an elephant in my pretty ass dress for my 16th birthday, okay? I was expecting that. Instead, I go to the high school dance dressed like a fucking weird ass person with a cool hat and I meet up with this fuckhead with his tie-dye shirt and his weird ass face that looks exactly the same. In fact, the only real difference between these two is that, well, um, she has skinnier legs than he does. So that's like the only difference between these two. I love it when t a couple is together, they, they, they get together, but they look exactly the same, you know? So like, the girl looks like the guy, the guy looks like the girl. Man, man, just like, in public, that just must be fantastic for you. So I'm really happy. This was Lil's Gordo. This game is shit. Don't play it. It's a fucking dress-up game. Who likes dress-up games anyway? Fucking little girls? I'm not a little girl. I'm a grown man. <gasps> uh, Tanya, I miss you. 